crews have made progress now on bringing power back, but it's certainly not a lot of comfort if you're still waiting. Yeah, now they are scattered all around, but the biggest concentration tonight is Clarence and Harris Hill. That's where two on your sides. Steve Brown is tonight. Steve. If you look closely, you'll see the linemen screwing together an electrical connection that came undone in Sunday's high winds. There were dozens of these kinds of repairs made in Clarence and Harris Hill today. This is where NYSEG indicates the most work needed to be done, and it's all too familiar to folks living near Howard Drive in Harris Hill. Every single time the power goes out, it's always our block. Raylan Wagner grew up here and moved back here in 2003. She says interruptions in electrical service are frustratingly common. I drive around the neighborhood, I don't see anything down. I don't know what the problem is. Um, I was supposed to start a job today couldn't go. Repairs here have been quick. Here's an example. A reach pole is being used to reestablish a connection. This fix took less than 10 minutes, but there are lots of them around here and crews have been working 17 to 18 hour shifts and they've been extremely busy. How often does this happen? Whenever there's a wind, a storm, we, we seem to get it quite frequently. So you average like what, one or two a year? Probably. Sometimes though, it's just for a short time. This is a really long one. So are the stories that we're hearing from this neighborhood true or not? We reached out to NYSEG, talked to a spokesman, both leaving a voicemail and an email on a couple of different occasions, trying to get a clarification. Do their records show that this is an outage prone neighborhood or do they dispute that contention by the folks who live here? We haven't heard back, but based on their stories and what seems to be their credibility in telling those stories, these folks deserve some answers from NYSEG. So we're going to continue asking the question until we can get them an answer as to why it seems to these folks that the lights go out here quite so often. In Harris Hill, Steve Brown, Channel 2 News.